Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to use software timer in FreeRTOS. We will use ESP32 board and Arduino IDE to implement this functionality. Let's see what is software timer in FreeRTOS. A software timer in FreeRTOS is a timer that is implemented in software, as opposed to hardware timers that are built into the microcontroller. Software timers are used to schedule tasks to run after a specified amount of time has elapsed. Or to run periodically. They provide a way to schedule tasks in a simple and efficient manner, without the need for complex code or additional hardware. Now let us see. Why to use FreeRTOS software timer as compared to task. FreeRTOS software timers and tasks both provide ways to schedule and execute code. But they have different use cases and trade-offs. 1. Memory Usage Software timers require significantly less memory compared to tasks. This is because software timers are implemented as a linked list of timer control blocks. Which are much smaller in size compared to the task control blocks used for tasks. 2. Processing Power Software timers do not have their own stack and do not require CPU time to run. As they are executed in the context of the RTOS scheduler this makes software timers much more efficient in terms of processing power compared to tasks. 3. Simplicity Software timers provide a simple and efficient way to schedule events to occur in the future without the need for complex synchronization mechanisms. For example, you can use a software timer to schedule a task to be executed once after a specified time interval. Or to repeat at regular intervals. 4. Precise Timing Software timers provide precise timing control and can be used to schedule events to occur at precise intervals. This can be important in applications where timing accuracy is critical. 5. Interrupt Handling Software timers can be used to handle interrupts, which can simplify interrupt handling and reduce the number of tasks required in the system. 6. Task Overhead Tasks have overhead associated with their creation. Now we will see about some APIs used for implementing software timer in FreeRTOS. 1. X Task Create This API creates a new software timer and returns a handle to the timer. Syntax is as shown. Where? PC timer name. The name of the timer, used for debugging purposes. X timer period. The period of the timer in tick periods. UX auto reload. If set to PD true, the timer will automatically reload with the same period after each time it expires. If set to PD false, the timer will only expire once. PV timer ID. An optional parameter that can be used to pass a value to the callback function. PX callback function. A pointer to the callback function that will be called when the timer expires. 2. Stimer start. This API starts a software timer. Syntax is as shown. Where? X timer. It is the handle of the timer to start. Stick to it. The time, in tick periods, to wait before starting the timer. 3. X timer stop. This API stops a software timer. Syntax is as shown. Where? X timer. It is the handle of the timer to stop. X ticks to wait. The time, in tick periods to wait before stopping the timer. 4. X timer delete. This API deletes a software timer. Cinta is as shown. Where? X timer. It is the handle of the timer to delete. Stick to it. The time, in tick periods to wait before deleting the timer. 5. PV timer get timer ID. This API returns a timer's ID value. Syntax is as shown. Where? X timer. It is the handle of the timer for which the ID value needs to be obtained. The return value is a pointer to the timer's ID value. 6. 
X timer is timer active. This API queries a software timer to see if it is active or dormant. A timer will be dormant if it has been created but not started, or it is an expired one-shot timer that has not been restarted. Syntax is as shown. Where? X timer. It is the timer being queried. Returns. PD false will be returned if the timer is dormant. A value other than PD false will be returned if the timer is active. Now we see the code to implement the software timer using these APIs. Let us go to Arduino IDE. These are the handles for one-shot timer and auto-reload timers. This is the timer callback function. Where the status of timer is shown as per their timer IDs. Here the API PV timer get timer ID is used and the X timer is the handle of the timer passed into in this callback function. In the setup section, the timers are created using timer create API. First is the one shot timer created. The first parameter for this API is name of the timer that is one shot timer. Second parameter is timer period for the expiry of the timer which is 500 milliseconds set in the form of ticks. Third is set as SPD false that means timer is a one shot timer. It will run once only. Fourth is timer ID which is set as zero. And final is timer callback function name. Next auto reload timer is created. The first parameter for this API is name of the timer that is. Auto reload timer. Second parameter is timer period for the expiry of the timer which is 1000 milliseconds set in the form of ticks. Third is set as SPD true that means timer is a one shot timer. It will run once only. Fourth is timer ID which is set as zero. And final is timer callback function name. We are using same callback function for this timer as well. Here we will check whether timer creation is failed. Here both the timers are started. In the loop section we insert the delay of 8 milliseconds. Here we check and print the status of one shot timer which is already expired. Here we use the API X timer is timer active. Same is done for auto reload timer. If auto reload timer is found active then we stop and delete. The timer. Here we use. X timer stop API to stop the timer and X timer delete to delete the timer. Now it's time to flash the code in the ESP32 board. Select the board and port. And then upload the code. After the code is uploaded start the serial monitor. Now you can see the timer ID of one shot timer is displayed. That is zero and one shot timer is expired. The auto reload timer is running. Here the status of one shot timer is zero that mean it is not active. Here the status of reload timer is one that means it is active. Hence it is stopped and deleted. After this the status of auto reload timer has become zero that means auto reload timer is also inactive now. So that's for the day. In this video we have seen what is software timer in free RTOS and the APIs. We have also seen how to implement the software timer in free RTOS. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video then please hit like button. Please share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again. And have a good time.